Good afternoon, everyone. Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru, coming live to you from my personal page today. And I wanted to tell you a little story um, about some uh, recent real estate agents we've worked with, some property owners, uh, where they were going to basically pay the first year flood insurance for the client closing on their house. I want to show you today how going this route was actually going to cost them more money. So we have a property in Pelham, Alabama that customer was wanting to sell people were kind of walking away because flood insurance premiums were three and four thousand dollars come to find out these premiums really should have been around a thousand dollars so the customer's like well i'm just gonna pay the first year up front well come to find out this property actually qualified for what was called a letter of map amendment now, what is a letter of map amendment you can check out our website to understand that but basically this is a flood zone change this goes from maybe a high risk flood zone to low risk flood zone it goes from required flood insurance to non-required the cost to go through this process was actually half of what they were going to pay for flood insurance premiums. Not only that, but the approval will actually be approved before the client closes on the property. So now that when the client goes and put a contract on this house, they can see where the process has started of a flood insurance being made. And they can even look at the elevation certificate to see the likelihood of this thing being approved. Now, the likelihood of this one being approved is between 95% and 99%. That's pretty high. So when you're going through this, you know, be cautious about paying that first year flood insurance premium because it actually could be costing you money if you're not looking at all the avenues. In this situation, it could have cost a property owner an extra $1,500 off the purchase or the sale of their property. So it's really something you wanna pay attention to. So if you've got questions about things like this, looking at doing a letter of map amendment, is the flood map on my property going to change you know, before I go to close on it? Because we see that a lot. That's what we're here to answer. Remember, we simplify flood insurance and understanding flood risk through education. Uh, we look forward to bringing you more stories like this. And also, stay tuned later on this week as we'll be doing another Facebook Live video walking you through some free tools on our website that you can use as a property owner, an insurance agent, and a real estate agent. Have a great Wednesday, everyone.